What is up guys, we are back and we're at a cutscene between Dimitri and our character asking if Edelgard will show up. Um, and I say she will. <laughs> well, well. It's been a long time, Professor. And hello to you too, Dimitri. Edelgard. Ah, there she is. I did not think you would actually accept my request. Call it a win. Well then, what did you want to talk about? I will get straight to the point. Why did you start this war? There had to be a way to change things in your territory without the need for so many senseless casualties. It may be hard to believe, but this is the way that leads to the fewest casualties in the end. Don't you see? How could I? Countless people have already lost their lives in this conflict. The longer we took to revolt, the more victims this crooked world would have claimed. I weighed the victims of war against the victims of the world as it is now. And I chose the former. I believe that I have chosen the best path. The only path. Even after seeing the faces of those who have suffered the ravages of war, you would still force them to throw their lives away for the future? You are obsessively devoted to this war and deaf to the screams of its victims. You cannot change the cycle of the strong dominating the weak with a method like that. You're wrong. That very cycle is exactly what I have devoted my life and my power to destroying. If after all of this, you believe the weak will still be weak, that is only because they are too used to relying on others instead of on themselves. Yes, perhaps someone as strong as you are can claim something like that. But you cannot force that belief onto others. People aren't as strong as you think they are. There are those who cannot live without their faith. And those who cannot go on once they have lost their reason for living. Your path will not be able to save them. It is the path of the strong, and so it could only benefit the strong. <laughs> so you consider me strong, do you? Even if one clings to their faith, the goddess will never answer them. Countless souls will be lost that way, living without purpose. And I can be counted among those who have died that way as well. But that's why I must change this world, on behalf of the silent and weak. And do you intend to become a goddess yourself? Will you steal the power to take action from the broken-hearted masses you claim to defend? The ones who can truly change the way of the world are not the rulers, but the people. Pushing your own sense of justice and your own ideals onto even one other person is nothing more than self-righteousness. Maybe it is self-righteousness, but it doesn't matter. Someone has to take action and put a stop to this world's endless, blood-stained history. Do you not believe in the power of the people? To join together and rise up? Humans are weak creatures. But they are also creatures who help each other, support each other, and together find the right path. I have learned that humans are capable of all that from the Professor and from everyone in my life. I doubt a highborn person like yourself could know how the poor feel or what motivates them. This is nonsense, though I'm finally starting to understand how you feel. But that makes it even clearer to me that we can never fully understand each other. I feel the same. I finally understand. What you believe is right. Goodbye, Dimitri. Wait, Edelgard. There is something I must give you. This is for you. Is it the dagger? Yeah. Use it to cut a path to the future you wish for. And I will rise up to meet you there. El. <sighs> El. So it's true. You're really going away? Going back home? There's nothing I can do about it. It's all happening so fast. I'm as surprised as you are. El. Um, here. I want you to have this. El, listen to me. No matter how hard things get, you can't give in, okay? You've got to cut a path to the future you wish for, no matter what. It's a dagger? Why would you give me something like this? Oh, um, I'm sorry. I couldn't think of anything better to give you. Edelgard, what are you doing? It's time to go. Hurry and get in the carriage. Oh, I... I'm sorry, Uncle. I have to go now. 
goodbye, Dimitri. I... I remember now. You gave me a dagger all those years ago. <laughs> I'm still sorry about that. I should have given you something that would have made you happier. Oh, come on. <laughs> Controller only died because this cutscene is so long, guys. Perhaps, at the time I was quite flustered by such a dangerous gift. I left without giving you a proper response, and that was the last time we saw each other. True. It is a sweet memory, with a bitter ending. I'm afraid it will do no good to reminisce, Dimitri. That girl you knew back then is gone, as good as dead. But I'll tell you now what I wasn't able to tell you back then. Thank you. My dear forgotten friend, because of you, I never lost my heart. As for the future, that will be decided in battle. King of Fargus, as the Emperor, I shall await your arrival in Inbar. Ah, we're putting flowers at our mother's uh, grave here. Sorry. <sighs> oh, is it his grave? It looks I like thought this was our mom's I'm grave. I'm going to have to leave you now. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Are they about to make us choose? Wow. They're really making us... What's up with this one, like? Uh... Honestly, I don't know who, <laughs> which one of these I would <laughs> really marry. I don't know. I guess I'll just gotta go for Dorothea because she can sing. She can sing and dance, so I don't know. I feel like there's no real importance to who we give this ring to anyway. Uh, before we get started on that mission, let me, let me make sure everybody's uh, kind of refreshed on everything that they need. I think everybody should be kind of good weapon-wise, at least. Uh, yeah, her, her stuff's a decent, decent amount. Um, can't really complain too much. We're not going to use Whoop's seal on your weapon. But okay, I guess, uh, I guess that's that. So let's do the assault on Enbar. The Kingdom Army, having gathered new troops and significant strength, commences its march towards the Imperial capital of Envar. In response to their movements, Emperor Edelgard orders her trusted retainer, Hubert, to the front lines to meet the Kingdom Army head-on. The two forces clash in the city streets. Thank you. Thanks so much. I have gratitude. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. All right, let's check out these units just to make sure 
Oh no, you guys have people in that we don't want in. Why would you why would you suggest these guys? That is a horrible idea. Uh since we can put 12 in though. Luckily I got him up to 42. She's at 40. That's decent. Um And then I think we just need one more uh adjutant and I guess we'll give it to Dimitri. But I guess like the real question is like, who would we want to go for him? But I guess I'll just put uh, this guy on him. And I think everybody's at the class I want them to be. I changed uh, to do last minute to, to the great night. I had like a 67% chance. All troops, storm in. The Emperor is within reach. Imperial troops are dug in across the city. Let's cut through them and carve a route to the palace. <laughs> the Savior King arrives, hands red with blood. Let's give him a royal welcome. Artillery, once the enemy is in range, fire at will. Reinforcements will fly in shortly. Keep your focus and hold steady until they arrive. The heck is this? This will be interesting, uh, because it looks like we have what two groups? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is actually a nice split because we. <laughs> We have uh, a tank on this side, and we have a tank on the other side, I believe. Yep. So we'll just auto battle with the focus just to see how it turns out for the team. Of course, Dimitri goes first. He's gonna like eat everybody's attacks so. up. Okay, never mind you guys move Casper up. He's probably gonna eat some hits. Oh, you guys move Dorothy up pretty freaking far. Ready and aim. I am prepared. This is our best bet. It's just to use him there. More fighting. I don't know, it's funny because like, we have four enemies here, we have four movements left. I need him to get help, that's for sure. What's my strategy? Uh, guess I'll take you out. I should have switched the weapon, I didn't want to use one of the, I one fight. of the sword skills like that. A sight to see. It kind of doesn't matter what healing skill I use, just for the simple fact that, oh, never mind, Fortify gives extra, and we can hit up uh, O-Dude on the other side too. What's the plan? So now he'll just get attacked by like two people? Oh, never mind, that's right, I totally forgot, like, 
you can move him around like that after certain actions. You guys will just be focused. I'm pretty confident on this right side. <laughs> this right side has nothing but this wouldn't but power on their on their side. Like they're all savages over here. Making Oh, and that's coming to help. Reinforcements will be here any moment. Don't blame yourself. It's my fault. Oh no. We are not losing Casper on that. Because uh, instead, I'm pretty orders. sure it would just be best if we heal. Oh no, he doesn't have the heal. I thought this guy could heal himself up. Put me in there. Guess not. Uh. We'll just use the elixir just because I'm not sure how hard these guys are going to be out here trying I'd to be kill everybody. Making strong. Looking good. I don't know why I'm Annette's here, like separating from the pack. Because we kind of need you to stay Ready up there. You are. See, she'll probably die if she goes up there. Draw them toward the up. What's the opera house? Stronghold. Ah, so they want us all to attack right there. How did you get hit? Oh my god. Leave it to me. Man, they got hella people out here. I don't know, I feel like my best bet right I'm now prepared. for trial and error purposes is to put on auto battle for focus. <laughs> War. Ooh, we got weight minus five? Who are we losing? Okay, we lost nobody. Perfect. I don't know why they keep. Anytime What's I do strategy? like the auto, auto battle with my guy, they always, <laughs> they always make it so he's running away for some freaking reason. They moved him up way too far. Sometimes I ask myself, why do I even... Why do I even let them make such such decisions?
Because it's like once I take out the knight, I should be good to move these guys up. Maybe that's like the... Maybe that's the, the whole plan that I should be looking forward to. More fighting. What's my strategy? Yeah. What's the plan? I gotta see how far everybody can come. But if I have to fight him... Uh, I've taken a risk on this one, I think. I will not die here. Sure won't. Stopped our reinforcements. We will need to thin their numbers as well, or else. If House Varley's troops arrive in time, we may be able to flank the kingdom's army. I am prepared. Ready and aim. Step forward. Thanks. I've made good. Leave it to me. I'd be honored. Put me in there. I'm your girl. I'll protect. Ready when you are. Hopefully I'll be more useful now. War is for the wealthy. We don't even have enough to eat. I'm sure the goddess won't punish us for a little bit of thievery here and there. That was actually a pretty interesting scene they just did there. in seeing how things are going to play out with an auto battle. The battle is nearing the Opera House. I 
Hope everyone in the company is safe. I'll keep moving forward. herself <laughs> I hope y'all notice that like he, he's gunning for her <laughs> Said zero. That's a win for it. It's like now it's trying to see where everybody's at. It seems like they are like they're purposely trying to kill off my boy over here. Gotta take you out, Mortal Savant. Oh, there's two Mortal Strength. Savants here. Look at you. What's the plan? Get his like dark magic up a little bit and have him try to become a threat, <laughs> you know. I won't forget this. Okay, perfect. I think with being here, like, he'll be able to shoot those guys on the other side of the wall. That's, like, the only clutch thing, really, I can think about, like, my archers. The fact that he has range to hit people on the other side like that. Oh, you missed. Uh, we can't have that, buddy. I actually made the wrong person dance. <laughs> That's kind of awkward. They still give you like the training axe.
And then where's our pretty, pretty healer? Ah, there's reinforcements. Or did I already use her to heal? I can't remember. I don't know where she's at anyway. She's probably like right in front of my face and I just don't see her. Oh, that's a problem. My apologies. Looks like these guys are gonna move up and I have kill her. That's that's bad if that happens. More reinforcements, eh? And this time it looks like a fair number. Okay, luckily they went that way. Definitely gonna have you fall back. Even though she could kill him herself, but I kinda wanna use her for healing. Yeah, see, now I just need these two to move up. Thanks for that. It's like I want the whole squad up here. Just because I don't know when I'm going to need her to fly anywhere important. Yeah, I have her do a little eradication there. Oh, snap, they're coming for... A net out here. How sweet. This is going to be kind of awkward, uh, for who I'm going to have fight who. Cause I can, I can then just end it all right now. But it might be more beneficial just to have these guys get some EXP. A sight to see. Make sure can we even reach? No, we can't even reach. Oh, we have to go around to kill you? Looks like we both kind of have the same range. Okay, perfect. She can get the kill off. I don't think there's like anything else important that could be happening. I don't think we have to worry about um, Petra being like an assassin on the side. Two cups. Um, 
but yeah, we'll. I don't know. It's just the fact that the accuracy is so low. It's almost a shame to kill you. Death will make you consequential. Next try. We must place our faith in her majesty. Her victory is everything. It's over. The way to the palace is clear. Let's move. Send your platoons to capture Envar. There is to be no needless killing or pillaging. Understand? Yes, Your Highness. Edelgard awaits us. We will advance our main forces straight to the palace. It is still early, Professor. We are up against Edelgard herself now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We will advance our troops and confront her. We must strike down the Emperor and end this war. My life is yours, Your Highness. Let's as long as you know, bro. Back home in victory. I'll do the very best I can. On my honor as a knight, I will not lose. I know the goddess is watching over us. Let's be sure to return home safely. All of us. As a citizen of Fargus, I will fight with everything I have. <laughs> Is this what a do-or-die situation looks like? You would best give it your all too, General. Go and win. Be the boar that you are. And don't you dare look back. Yes. I will... No. We will win this. Together. Everyone, move out! The time has nearly come. Yes, the anomaly should present itself shortly. However, there's no reason to fret. Besides, it's far too late to second guess. Now, assume your position. I can't promise your safety if you remain here. Very well. Ugh. This pain is nothing compared to what I have already suffered. What are you about to do? You about to trans transform into something? What the hell are you? Oh man, this, this is disgusting. Okay, we get it. <laughs> Part 2. Azure Moon. Verdant Rain Moon. Oath of the Dagger. After storming the streets of Enbar and bringing Imperial forces to their knees, the Kingdom Army surrounds the Imperial Palace. But the enemy that awaits them there is not the Edelgard they once knew. Yeah, you think? I don't even know what the heck she is. Are we jumping right into the battle? We have annihilated Enbar's army. If we strike her down now, this war will finally be over. I imagine she intends to keep fighting until the bitter end. If this is the end she has chosen, it is my responsibility to see it through with her. Isn't that so, Emperor of Adrestia? We have no choice but to destroy each other. 
such as the destiny we were born to. That is why I will now rise up to answer her iron will with the bite of my lance. I will protect you at all costs. We will both live to see tomorrow. Your Majesty. <laughs> if the king falls here, that would mean my father's and brother's deaths were in vain. For Renato, Kristoff, everyone, I will not lose. Well, if I were to die now, I'd have a lot to explain to my brother. All will be okay. I know we can win. I won't falter, no matter who we're facing. For all those who have lost their lives in this war, we cannot lose. It is time. Onward to our final battle. They are here, but my progress cannot be stopped, no matter how many people try. The war's end will spell destruction for one of us. Her mouth's not even moving. There can only be one ruler of the world. Hedgeman Edelgard? It sounds like Hedgemon, it's like Digimon. <laughs> I just feel like they're going to put us in this battle. I, I think I have like too many ground units. I feel like I should have trained some people in like the Weavern way. I probably should have made Sylvain a, a Wyvern. Wyvern, Weavern. Yeah, I kind of figured they were just going to throw us in this battle, guys. But I'm going to end this episode off here. And next episode is going to be us fighting through this map and trying to get to Hedgemon Edelgard. Seems she's not that far from us, but guys, leave a like for the video, helps with the video, and also subscribe to my channel, it helps out the channel a lot. And with that said, take it easy. Later.